Hey, how's everyone doing? Jason from Bohemia Bees. We've got a frame of uh, honey here, and we're going to test out a tool that some people have seen online. Um, like new little gadgets here in the apiary, testing new uh, fun things. Uh, they don't always work, um, but we'll test them out, see what they uh, see what they do. This is a sort of a kind of a, a mix between an uncapping fork and a serrated cutting knife. This is what your typical fork looks like, uncapping fork. It's used to pick out the comb cappings on a frame that are low. And then you have your serrated knife, which is typically you would take and cut down the capping straight off on a frame. So we're gonna cut uh, normal. I have a frame here, a standard super frame, and I'm gonna cut it down normally with the uncapping uh, serrated knife. And then I'm gonna use the, uh, the newer knife here just, uh, just to see how it works. Uh, um, it's, it's actually uh, probably not needed on some of the frames that I have here in my apiary because the bees do a really good job of building out the comb well beyond the frame, but we're going to try it and see what it does. It's kind of a fair shot either way. Um, you can see on the frame it's pretty thick. Uh, I'm actually going to give the advantage uh, to the knife on the heavy side, so the thicker side to the knife just to give it a little bit of an advantage, see what happens. So here we go. So we're gonna take this knife, and as you can see, it appears you're supposed to press down in and then just work your way across the comb, like such. It's gliding fairly easily. You're not having to use the sawing motion as much. forward a little bit okay that's not too bad a little clean it's the first time I've used this so I don't really have a technique down but it makes it uh, I guess somewhat easy my first comment is that you've got to do several passes that's the obvious it's not wide enough to do Obviously, cannot just do one pass, or like with a knife. Glides nicely, but I think what ends up happening is the uh, cappings get jammed up in. I'm ripping now. It's definitely getting a lot of gooey honey drip. It's hard to get that out of that cone. Fork, I should say. So a lot of um, so there's the first pass with the uh, honey fork capping on doodad. That's how that worked. A lot of ripping. It worked. Um, not my favorite, but uh, that's how it worked. And then let's just do a normal pass with uh, a frame with my knife, standard uncapping knife. Here we go. Uh, I think everyone sees the clear winner. Um, I'm, I'm, unfortunately, I'm a little biased, but because I've been using it for so long, you know, the uncapping knife does work. Uh, the uncapping doodad, let's call it the uncapping doodad. Um, the fork knife doodad worked, but it ripped it up pretty bad. Got a couple spots where it actually pulled the comb all the way down to the foundation. And it pulled a lot of, it was a little messy. Whereas even where the, on the other side, where the knife, and the wax capping got really close to the wood, it still picked it up with the uh, serrated knife pretty nice. And it got a pretty clean cut. I think that's gonna give you a nice solid frame for the bees to build right back out on in the next season or later season. So I think clear winner here, in my opinion, is the uh, is a serrated knife. We're gonna go with the uh, the old trusty serrated knife. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, these newer uh, inventions that come out are too good to be true or are um, just not always what they crack up to be. 
Um, so I, uh, if I had to give it a scale on uh, a rating, I'd probably give it a C minus. Whereas it's, you know, definitely does, it does what it's probably intended to do, uncap the wax. It didn't fail at that, but it pretty did a pretty, pretty messy job at it. So that's my review of the uncapping doodad that you're going to see scattered around the internet that you can buy from a myriad of prices. Um, if you did like it, if you don't like the serrated knife and you want to get your hands on these uncapping tools, if you think that's sufficient enough, um, I can get them for you. I have a few uh, in stock. Um, I can sell them to you. Uh, I think they're $10 a piece, so shoot me a PM. I can get it for you. Again, it does an okay job, just not a perfect job. So um, I'm so partial to the serrated knife, but I have both. I can order both if you need them. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, like us on Facebook. Follow us at Bohemia Bees, BohemiaApiary.com. Uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, where hobby beekeeping is more than a hobby, it's an obsession.